I do not stand here now and speak to you as your friend and schoolmate. That would lessen the seriousness of my final words to you. No. Close your eyes. Forget that you know my face and voice. Forget that you know anything about Tamim Bikwana. Think of me rather as an oracle of my words and those of the great ancestors of our traditional African culture, which we hand our back on and test that to our great parents. The opposition has spoken about sexual exploitation and the need for women's liberation. Brothers and sisters, these are foreign ideas. Do not listen to them. Why? They come from a culture, a so-called Western civilization that has meant only misery for, to Africa and its people. Two. It is the same culture that shipped away thousands of our ancestors and slaves. Three, the same culture that has exploited Africa with the greed of a vulture during the period of colonialism. And four, the same culture which continues to exploit us today in the 20th century under the disgust of concern for our own future. The opposition has not been able to refute my claim that a woman cannot do the same job as men. And that a woman's role in the family, in society, is <coughs> totally different to that of a man. And with these facts taken together, reinforces what our fathers and our grandfathers and our great grandfathers knew. Namely, that happiness and prosperity for a tribe and a nation is achieved when education of the little ladies take these facts into consideration. <laughs> Would it be right for a woman to go to a war while a man sits at a sewing machine? I do not have milk in my breast to feed the baby while my wife is out digging road for divisional cancer. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, it is obvious that you feel the same as I do about this most serious matter. And I hope that at the end of this debate, your vote will reflect your agreement with me. Thank you.